For years, Americans have been force-fed lies and propaganda through television news networks. These news organizations are almost always corrupt and pro-democrat. But Americans are growing tired of television. Sure, social media and YouTube coupled with Twitter and Facebook did refresh minds of many. But then, big tech is anything but neutral. The two are biased in favor of liberals and the loony left. As such, a majority of Americans began feeling out of place. Today, they are leaving big tech platforms. And the most unlikely candidate obliterating the big tech has turned out to be Joe Rogan. Okay, now I'll speak normally. This is the story of Joe Rogan and how he is today the biggest threat to mainstream media. And welcome to TFI Global, the foreign affairs and geopolitical analysis arm of the TFI Media Group. I'm your fast speaking host Atul Mishra and in this video I will tell you how Joe Rogan is having big media, big tech and big pharma for lunch all at once. Let's begin. You've all heard of Joe Rogan, right? I bet you hear and watch his podcast, The Joe Rogan Experience, regularly. And why wouldn't you? He has quite literally swallowed all of the Biden administration and mainstream media's lies at one go. Joe Rogan was not always a journalist, media critic, or a political analyst. You see, the complete apathy of American mainstream media has made the man embark on a mission to tell Americans the truth. He merely states the facts with obvious level-headed observations that always make the liberal camp come crashing down. His style, delivery and authenticity of the facts put out have earned Rogan many conservative fans, surely. But the man is also a rage among American centrists and even moderate Democrats. Joe Rogan has emerged as one of the most influential figures in the American media, with his podcast surpassing the viewership statistics of the likes of Tucker Carlson Tonight, Fox News and CNN. As of today, the Joe Rogan experience reportedly reaches an average of 11 million people per episode. Beating Tucker Carlson is no small feat. The Fox News journalist is a sensation in the US himself. But ratings of Tucker Carlson Tonight, according to Nielsen's 2021 Q3 media ratings, are a distant second at 3.24 million listeners each episode. Meanwhile, Fox News primetime averaged 2.37 million per episode, while CNN raked in around 822,000. Joe Rogan has mastered the art of grabbing the popular sentiment prevalent in America on a variety of issues and talking about them in a manner no mainstream media outlet would dare to. Much of American media is in the pocket of Democrats. Senior journalists of the country working for prominent publications and broadcast publications, meanwhile, are still paying off the debts they incurred during the free breakfast and lunch parties that Joe Biden threw as vice president. By towing his administration's line on all issues, such journalists are just returning the favor. Joe Rogan, however, offers a refreshing take to Americans on all issues of significance. And then he produces quality content in the form of podcasts. His guests are all well-known and well-informed, and they just have fun while talking about important issues. This helps connect the audience to Rogan at an intimate level. Joe Rogan is single-handedly defeating American mainstream media. He's driving a sea of viewers away from traditional media outlets. Rogan can quite literally become the reason why major news networks of the United States begin running into losses of tremendous magnitudes very soon. Joe Rogan is today one of the biggest influencers in the United States. He's helping Americans form informed opinions on important issues. Most recently, Joe Rogan demolished the Biden administration, FDA and CDC for their tabulag aversion to ivermectin, which is obviously driven by their very symbiotic relationship with Pfizer. Around the world, ivermectin is being used as a potent drug against COVID-19. In the US, however, ivermectin is being portrayed by the Democrats as a sin drug, a horse dewormer, an anti-vaxxer fad, and whatnot. Of course, they have no facts to support such assertions. So Joe Rogan treated himself with ivermectin and proved how the drug could be a game changer in the US. CNN, however, did not like this, so they called ivermectin a horse dewormer. Little did it know that this snide remark against Joe Rogan would go on to be the final nail in its coffin. CNN chief medical correspondent Sanjay Gupta appeared on Joe Rogan's podcast. In hindsight, it was a mistake on his part to do so. He walked in like a goat walking up to its butcher because Rogan destroyed the man and the network he works for. Joe said, does it bother you that the network you work for 
just outright lied about me taking horse deworm. Gupta replied that his colleague shouldn't have said that. When Gupta couldn't explain why they had done so, Rogan questioned why he hadn't asked them. Thereafter, after beating around the bush and being cornered by Rogan, all that Gupta could muster to say was, I should have asked before coming on this podcast. And this isn't Rogan's first kill. Not at all. He has become a nightmare for big tech as well. You see, Joe Rogan has joined Getter. You know the platform whose CEO I just recently interviewed. Getter had been downloaded 250,000 times in the first 24 hours of Rogan joining the platform. In one of the podcasts with Robert Malone, where the duo simply eviscerated the Biden administration and its handling of the pandemic, Rogan's guest said, they are lawless, they completely disregard bioethics, they have broken all the rules that I know that I have been trained on for years. This podcast was taken down by YouTube, leading to Google making a permanent enemy out of Joe Rogan. Again, in hindsight, this was a wrong choice made by Google. Joe Rogan can destroy mainstream media single-handedly. He has the power to do so because millions of Americans have chosen him over Democrat-friendly media outlets. As a direct implication, Big Tech 2 needs to be very cautious of this man. He is not somebody they would want to mess with.